Hello and welcome. Today we are gonna work on civil uh, activity. So let's begin to make the part. First we are gonna make the part. So I'm gonna click the front view. Click the sketch. And I'm gonna click the front here. Make sure that the units are millimeter. Um, so it's not millimeter. So make sure them change it to millimeter and the two decimal point. And the mass will be gram two decimal point and green check mark. Now let's begin. So I'm gonna click the sketch again, double click sketch, so we can activate the sketch tool. I'm gonna use center point rectangle first. I start from the origin, it is the best to start from the origin. And then I need to check the uh, dimensions. The dimensions here is supposed to be 125 millimeter the top and the length will be 100 millimeter and you're gonna click the end finish sketch and then we are gonna use the extrude and I'm gonna choose the sketch entity and then I'm gonna instead of blind I would like to use the symmetric it's better and the depth will be 100 millimeter so there is a million ways actually to make the parts so you guys are just seeing the my approach how to complete it okay we made the first cube now i'm gonna make a sketch here so i'm gonna right click here um instead of right click just left click and then click sketch and then choose the right view and then i'm gonna use center point arc just move them a little bit down so i want to use them touching here so the center point wrong uh, arc and touching this one perfect and then and sketch as you can see the color automatically tur turns to black so because it means fully constrained now i'm going to use the extrude i'm going to choose this semicircle and then instead of blind i'm going to use up to face and i'm going to choose this face and green check mark okay now we are going to make another sketch here left click sketch and the right or you can click the n button on your keyboard and i'm going to use center point circle make sure that the, on the center of the arc and the center of circle the same and i'm going to activate the dimension tool and it will be 40 millimeter. And I'm gonna click the end sketch, extrude, choose that circle. This time we're gonna click remove. And instead of blind, use the up to face. It's pretty useful. So I'm gonna choose this face. So it is removed. Green check mark. Okay, so we completed this part. Now I'm gonna make another sketch here on this uh, part, the front view actually. So I'm gonna left click here in the sketch and then I'm gonna click the front. I'm gonna use again center point rectangle. Make sure that it is, uh, you can see the like the yellow lines make you help you actually, it should from the center. All right, that's enough. Now we are gonna put the dimensions of this circle, I mean this uh, rectangle, and the dimensions will be, I'm gonna activate the dimension tool. The top will be 75 millimeter, and the length will be 130 millimeter. And the distance from here to bottom will be 20 millimeter now the sketch turned the completely black we're gonna click the green check mark we are gonna remove this part so i'm gonna click the extrude i'm gonna choose the sketch entities instead of add i'm gonna click the remove and again you can do either up to face or you uh, 
we just need to exit exit okay let's do it again so isometric view i'm gonna click the extrude and then you need to choose the sketch entities that you made it and you should click the remove instead of blind choose the up to face and choose this part and green check mark you can make through all also it can work too all right you can remove these planes if it is not look like good you can just uh put the uh touch the p on your keyboard it's gonna be disappear and we're gonna make a sketch here sketch tool and then i'm gonna click the end button so it's gonna face to me then i'm gonna use the center point circle i will make a two circle here that's the first one and that's the second one let's check what was the dimensions of those circles it's gonna be 75 and 100 so i'm gonna click the dimension tool so this is going to be 75 and for the these are the diameters of the circles I'm going to click the green check mark and then I'm going to click the extrude I'm going to choose this part and the depth will be 25 millimeter you can leave the blind it looks perfect green check mark now I need to make another sketch here so I'm going to left click sketch I'm going to click the end button again I'm going to use the center point circle starting from the center and then I'm going to use the dimension tool the diameter will be 30 millimeter and sketch extrude we're going to choose that circle instead of add we're going to choose the remove instead of blind let's choose again up to face which face we're going to click here of course and green check mark I'm gonna click the isometric this is how to complete that's the one way how to complete it but we shouldn't forget to assign the material so i'm gonna right click on the part one assign material and then you're gonna click the here aluminum aluminum 1060 you should choose this one and green check mark so we assign the material now so when you click the display mass properties and when you choose the part one if you see the mass is uh, 2309.27 gram it means uh, you completed the part correctly okay now this is how to make the part now we are going to also do drawings so let's start the drawings how we can start the drawings i'm going to click the insert new element and i'm going to click create drawings and for this assignment you are supposed to choose a n s i a millimeter uh, drawings files if you don't see them you can just click the show on ship drawing templates and you can find this one and i'm going to click ok okay um insert v it's automatically activated so i'm gonna choose the part one this is that i made it so the first i'm gonna insert and make sure that the weave scale one four i believe it helps you if you want the larger you need to change the one two or one three that depends on you okay that's the front view and as you can see um projected view is automatically activated so this is the front view i'm gonna put this is going to be top and then i'm gonna just click left click and this is going to be right view i'm gonna click again done will be to bottom view and i'm gonna left click again this time i'm gonna put here isometric beef all right i'm gonna click the escape button 
Now I'm gonna right click on the isometric view. Just make them show shaded view. Now uh, let's put the dimensions. Um, I'm gonna start first by using center marks. So let's put the, all the center marks here. So this is the center mark for this one. You just need to choose the circle. It automatically puts to the center mark here. Okay. These are done. Now let's start to uh, put the dimensions on the front view. So I'm gonna click the dimension tool and distance from here to here is 25 distance from here to here is again 25 it's automatically put them and from top to this distance will be 130 millimeter distance from here to here is going to be 25 millimeter I'm not putting the number so it's automatically place them by itself so now we have the diameter here diameter is 30 and then I have the dimension of the small circle that's the 75 the larger one here it's going to be 100 that's the diameter and what else I have here that's the diameter 40 and from the top to this distance will be 100 okay this is how to put the dimensions now we are gonna add some notes um, I don't know this is required or not but it makes you to understand when you give the engineer to make this part it's gonna be a lot understandable if you use, if you use the notes so therefore I'm gonna use the notes to be able to use the note you need to click the note button here and then I'm gonna put a note here um, you can just move them extend it here and it's good when you type the notes with the caps lock is on so it's going to be all capital all is centered on face let's go to make it larger perfect green check mark but if we shove them it's going to be a lot better so we are going to use the weld symbol here so i'm going to just get here perfect green check mark this is the first note we used and let's move them a little bit here better and this guy a little bit up a lot better now now we have another note here so let's use the again weld symbol okay first use the weld symbol here and i'm going to use the note circular face is tangent to the edge of the face and that's another note we have and the last one is really important it's it would be a lot harder if you do them without knowing it actually um use and then I'm gonna use the note here hole and arc. Here, the same center point. Hold on, an arc, share the same center point. 
All right. Um, um, we should also add the note saying that set the material to aluminum 160. We should include them here. I forgot it. So I'm going to just uh, add in another note here. So you just need to click the note here and then just write it down here. Then the note set material to aluminum. One thousand and sixty and being check mark. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys.